Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to be looking at the Tandrum wallet. So this is a self-custodial crypto wallet, so you can get your own keys and coins. We've got three cards here. As you can see, very sleek design, all blacked out. There used to be a previous design, but this is the 2.0 version of the Tandrum wallet. So this is what you get in it. You can get three or two cards, as you can see right here. You know, this is the size of maybe a credit card. I think that's the exact same dimension, so you can put it actually in your wallet and keep it safe. Now the reason that we have three cards is because they're backup cards. So they all have different numbers on the back. When we're looking at the numbers, they correspond to basically their own card. So these numbers will be tied together. When you see at the back here, they have those numbers on the back. I don't know if I'm allowed to show all of it, but there's numbers on the back, kind of like a credit card, which correspond to the three cards. Now it also comes with this little guide that we can see here to just two pieces of paper. When we open it up, it actually shows us basically the tutorial of how to go through and put this on your phone. If we flip it open right now, we can see that we've got the phone app there so you can get it on Google Play or on App Store. All you have to do is just tap the card to the phone and when you're on the app, we'll show you in a minute, but it actually just shows you how to go through it and puts you through the steps. That's just some information on, you know, the size and the contact support for the Tandrum wallet. So that's basically what we have in terms of the unboxing. So I think we can move over onto the phone and I'll show you how to set up the three cards right now. So as we can see here, we, all we have to do is scan the card. And once there, once you've gone through the setup, it's going to ask you for an access code. All you have to do is input your access code, hit continue. And then you have to scan your card again. So multiple steps of security for the cards. And this works really well because it basically stops people from taking your cards and using them. As we can see, we got a bunch of coins here. We have, you know, a bunch of mining coins that I've added into my wallet personally. Obviously, we want to have a place where we can mine into or at least send our coins after we've mined them. So we have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Casper coin, which is the newest, latest edition, I believe. BNB, so anything that's on the BNB chain, they can put in there. Anything on Ethereum, I believe anything on Tron as well, they can put in there. You can also do these features where you can swap from Zill to BNB or other coins that they have listed, as you can see there. If we go back right now, we can see that we have like Zcash and you can swap that as well because it's on the BNB network. Flux doesn't actually let you swap yet, but I'm sure that that will come in in the future. We have Fira, which is an old proof of work coin uh, we have raven coin there which is good you know that's an old coin as well but people are still mining it octospace which is one of those new coins that people have been mining lately so when we're looking at this we have a bunch of coins that we can add obviously if you want to add more you can search them in here so you can search in flux you just type it in and click them above and save changes it's going to ask you for the access code again and then you have to scan it on once you've scanned on, it's going to update. As you can see there, we've got Flux Solana that we just added. And then we have Flux Ethereum that we just added right over there. Now, when it comes to Casper coin, we can actually show you that you can go on the transaction history. So you can click on the wallet address. You can copy it. You can share it. You can do a bunch of things on there. But when it comes to opening the Explorer, as you can see there, it shows the transaction history. And it does this for pretty much all coins. I believe if we click on Bitcoin here, the transaction history, you can buy and sell Bitcoin actually. So most of them you can't buy and sell, but I believe Bitcoin and Ethereum, you can buy and sell directly in the wallet through Visa or MasterCard. So you just click whichever one you want. And when it comes to actually doing Tether, you can swap that as well into BNB. So there's a bunch of features on the Tangent wallet, which we can utilize in terms of just not even trading cryptocurrency, but buying it. I place it on an off ramp. If you want to change the currency, as you can see there, you just click there. If you want to do a bunch of other things, you click on that top three circles at the top. If we click on it now there and we can go over to the referral program, which is actually our own special code there, Spectre with an R at the end, not an ER. But I'll leave a link in the description for that if you want to help out the channel and get 10% off a Tangent wallet. I'd recommend going for the three cards because obviously it's more security but two cards is fine as long as you don't lose any of your cards. As you can see there, you had a 10% discount if you refer a friend. You can add DApp wallets through there as well. If you want to, you just click OK and then allow it through your settings. I haven't allowed that yet, but there are other things like welcome to the Tangent support. 
so you can start a conversation with them. They're very good at getting back very quickly as well. Or if you want to actually scan a new card or reset, you can actually factory reset the card in these settings as well. So when we're looking at the app settings, you can see you can keep the app in the wallet so you don't have to put in the access code and we can actually move over to transactions. So we have a transaction for Casper here. We have five cents. So that would be one in Casper coin. All we have to do is click on explore. It's going to show us the transaction there. And if we actually want to send it out, we just click on send. We input the address at the top that we're going to use. This is my Zellcore address. Then we're going to input the amount of Casper coin. I don't think we have enough to carry the fees. So if we click on the drop down menu right now, we can click include in fee and then it's going to give us the fee for the transaction. All you have to do then is click send, put in our access code and it's going to ask you to actually scan the card again. So we just scan the card there. Normally on the back of your phone, you can do it through the front of your phone, but the connection's better that way. It will say successful and then we have to wait for the transaction to send. As you can see at the top, it's currently sending. We can refresh this. I believe it shows up after we refresh it two times. And there you go. You can see in the Explorer that it's actually moved over to the Zellcore address. So for the most part, Tangent is really quick, really good. Instant transactions on Casper coin, obviously. It just uses the network. You can buy a bunch of coins and you can store a bunch of coins on there. So overall, I think it's great. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's just a little sneak peek into Tangent Wallet and what you can do with it. If you guys want to get a Tangent Wallet, then please use the link in the description to get 10% off and help out the channel.